children must be taught how to think not what to think said margaret mead and that reminded me of the olden days the family was there the family was strong because children were taught how to think they were not even taught to read through the books they just follow that father and mother and from there they start thinking how to build up that one particular subject that was the strength of the family that was the love of the family that was the growth of the family that created the saying a family which sits together eats together prays together grows together and the growth was fantastic people are thinking the growth should be the city skyscrapers massive mansions massive motorbikes and cars all these are museum items today or tomorrow it will be in the museums not for our love and i think we shouldn't purchase it up when you when you run a school you don't grow domesticated animals you do not run aquariums cow sheds because the whole energy goes over there your focus should be only on education you don't divert it up if at all you want to go and see a goshala you should go to goshala where people are engaged in cow breeding people are engaged in fish industry aquarium why should you interfere into their business you want to see them every day maybe in the first week you like to see but not every day you don't like to see we like to see once in a while you can go there so that give, creates a vibration in your brain for the brain to start working to start understanding and not diversion here at the present what is been taught is what to think you are taught already what to think what can be your career diverting totally disconnecting you totally from your daily life children must be taught how to think margaret mead said mead what mead taught meant was the correct thinking about the olden times we had but now that has been hijacked and taken into the companies factories political arena mass hypnotism they got their children disconnected can you believe ashrams have taken children temples and churches have taken the children that is not kidnapping schools and colleges have brainwashed destroyed the family structure and the love in the name of building up the career that was not destruction that was not kidnap they are kidnapped even how to think when the moment you destroy the child how to think you got the child as a slave now if you wanted to build up your own company means your house your family because companies have already taken other comp- other families thinking also to be used in the company simple tactic that they used it they become rich and you became the poor they have massive big hospitals and you you rush up to that hospital thinking they will take care they never took care they destroyed you can't even talk to them i remember taking one of our student sanjay to jain hospital that a mahavir jain uncle was also there so we called mahavir and i told mahavir the one of our child is admitted in mahavir jain hospital can you just give a helping hand he called them they don't listen they are out for money so i got a top ranking doctor neurologist 
And he said, oh, there's no need of this operation. This is a simple matter. And the doctor who has told you that you don't need an operation, you can tell me and you can uh, refer my name. He tried actually. This neurologist, top driving neurologist, called the Mahavir Jain Hospital. Doctor, he refused to pick up. So next day I went. The children, my people all told that Swamiji is coming. I want to talk to you. Doctor said, not a problem. So I went there very politely. I went there. He did not even ask me to sit. Before I could open my mouth, he started shouting. He said, I have taken a decision. You allow me to operate or discharge the child now. I said, your senior has have discussed with the senior. I don't care which senior it is. Listen to me. I get the child discharged. I said, doctor, please don't do that. Give me some time. And I came out. When I came out, I was thinking, what next to do? I have to go back to the senior doctor to find out. By the time I came back to Indranagar, I got the call. They have put him in a stretcher and pushed him out into the corridor. They threw him, threw him out from the hospital. Can you believe? <laughs> Such Gundagiri. Because, you know, you allowed them to make your children what to think for them. You never used it. When you used it, when you use Children should be taught how to think. Another one of my child was a handicapped child. He's no more now with us. He was admitted in Manipal Hospital. So the doctor was wanting for an operation. So we said no. No need of operation, just the treatment alone is enough. No, no, no. In that case we won't be able to keep him. So they told, look, Swamiji is coming, wait for it. But before I could reach there, they don't care which bloody Swamiji you are or which uh, man you are. They just dragged him up, we just, can you, they also threw him in the corridor. Whom to complain, where to complain. The society has been built in such a way, the total people inside that arena should live in fear and die in fear before they have to go catch slaves. Now when that slave trade has been stopped, they, they found out this great method of all that glitters. Yes. Children must be taught how to think. Now to save your family is better late than never. You can save yourself. You can save your family. And with that comes the joint family and the family tree. That's the day before your death. You can see some happiness. For 100 years when you start the first joint family meeting, tell them no complaints, no explanations. No complaint, no explain. For 100 years, Nobody should complain in the joint family, but allow the children to think, allowing you to think, allowing the family to think. You can see there won't be any poverty, there won't be any diseases, no psychological problems. And buildings is not, in, not needed, open air, fresh air, sitting under the moonlight, lying down and watching the stars, which you don't get it in the concrete jungles and neither you don't have to get these people to bully you. Margaret Mead said, children must be taught how to think. Think. Not what to think. 